Okay. Welcome to episode two of the NBA analysis streams. Today I haven't really had anything lined up due to real life and school, but I do have some interesting matches lined up that I think will be pretty interesting. So our first one is a character that's definitely been on anyone's mind lately, C. Roa in 1.05. This character is just now completely badass and almost reminds me almost nothing of the previous Roa and how shitty he was. So what we have here is Takashi C. Warakia. Warakia hasn't really changed much since um, uh, CC at all. 1.05 barely changed. He's not he's not too different at all. C. Roa on the other hand changed completely. This matchup used to be in uh, C. Warakia's favor. He would just kind of like keep him away. Roa had bad normals. But now Roa gets like corner carry, high damage off his shit. It's still kind of hard for Roa to work around Warakia the way he's flying around him. But he definitely is just a better character overall and gets high reward for doing what he has to do. <clears throat> so with that said, let's just start the matchup. C. Warakia versus C. Roa 1.05, which is just C. Roa is amazing. Alright. So they're just starting off feeling each other. They spacing. Rock is already going in. Tried to uh, answer your 2D there, but he got caught out by JB, which is just bad luck and bad time. So C. Roa is already going crazy with all these two targets, all these spheres. Taka's trying to say, like, get off of me, I, I just want to play the game, but he tried to heat, got, it didn't work out, even though Oaki's heat stack is like, look at this Roa, look at this Roa, he's just flipping the fuck out, bro. This character's just like, I'm good now, guys, he's just going crazy. Alright, so, Oaki gets a JC start off. 226C is now one of Roa's like best FOC tools. It costs meter, but rewards extremely high, and it makes up for almost his lack of normal. All right, so this spacing each other, feeling each other out. JC tags, and you see this just like Rocky is trying to like keep him away with two, uh, 2B anti-air JB. That was a trade, which which was probably in Rocky's favor by a lot. But Black, uh, Roa got that one random hit, starting to hit him. Oh my god, these combos are fucking sick. You got two uh, orbs set up from those. Alright. So he just bad bursts and Rocket takes him around. So let me just go back on that. Roa's orbs, he has to set one up. And he has two versions of these. One uh, that lays on the ground. When he's on the ground, he just does two and four, A or B. Gives different ranges. A is closer, B is farther, C is the farthest. And when he's in the air, he hits two and four. But it's the best, the best, the best way to get those out is to TK them. But when he gets those out, it they uh they switch sides. They have a huge horizontal range, and I'm pretty sure that now you could charge them, and they give like just more hits and just c claim a lot of the horizontal space. So he's comboing him. Charging his lightning meter here, which enables like really high damage in combos and putting orbs down at the same time. This character has just gotten completely revamped since his shitty console version. So, what I wanted to highlight here was how after one of these combos, Roa just like, let's see, where was it? Roa just tags him and just goes nuts. That was a 2B answer by Ta Takashi. He drops it, that was still good. The 2C, yeah, here it goes. One orb fully charged, charged the lightning meter, goes for a combo, knocked down, uses that lightning meter, uses that one charge he had before, brings him back down, combos, puts down another orb, puts down two orbs, then charges. He has two orbs here, like, that you really can't disrespect in pressure. He, these orbs claim a complete vertical space, and are, I'm pretty sure they're easily comboable. If the if he uh, he hits you with them, especially if it's counter hit, so this character got what was it like 4k damage? Yeah, like 3.5k damage 
for almost no meter, got charged, got tons of meter, and got two orbs to set down. This character has been completely revamped, and now he's just complete badass. Really fun to watch. He still has the same problems as before. Oh, that was a bad burst, by the way. You don't want to burst jump cancel normals. You don't want to burst anything that starts with a jump because odds are they'll jump and your burst won't hit them because they're in the middle of like the jumping animation and the normal comes out later. You either want to hit them in the middle of JBC, like JB then the JC, you want to burst that. But even then when you start going into the air, you're going to be taking a lot of damage anyway. You just contemplate taking the damage. Or you want to burst them in the middle of the ground combo. Uh, this range might be kind of safe for Rakia in general, but it that was a bad burst. In uh, definitely bad. He just got comboed after it. And he dies. <clears throat> Alright. So, once again, Taka just pushing him into the corner, JB, 2B. Uh, Roa gets that random hit, starts going crazy again with all these orbs, all these charges. Two orbs again, same exact combo, same exact setup. Takashi gets out of the orbs though. Uses Nadia to try to claim back that space, random air grab into... This, this is probably one of the best things like 1.05, Roa air throw into OTG. Alright, so Nadia to uh, claim the space again, nope. Roa shields that Nadia, which is actually a really smart move. Wall bounce, untackable. Ground slam, JB's, 5 ace attack that JB, which is fine. 2 and 4, just look at that set of movement right there. He does 2 3 6 A, which is a lightning that isn't really scary by itself, but it is pretty fast and it is meaty in the corner, it gets a lot of characters. He cancels that into an orb and then into a special. This character is definitely just a whole different character. And then he uses that orb to get the counter hit into 2.7k. Into the same exact situation as before. Takashi tries to heat, stop the timer, gain his life back. 2B trade again. Once again, Takashi's favor. But. Wow, he got it. He confirmed that. That was a really far range. Oh, wow, that was godlike. <clears throat> Alright, so JC, 5A. Just trying to tag him in the corner, trying to make him move out in a bad way. The dash could be worked there. Alright, so they, JB, 2B. That's like the two things about this matchup that makes Roa's life really difficult. JB from uh, like mid-screen or so, stopping his movement. 5C like this, just, you know... He's really far away. Roa can't really even do anything about this unless he has orbs down, which Takashi is not going to let him do because he's just on his ass all the time. And putting on the... Not only setting the orb is, is uh, leaves you vulnerable, uh, setting it off is pretty risky in general unless you have really good spacing in the corner off of pressure. So 2B to get Roa out of the air, JB to meet him in the air, and 5C and those like really long-ass normals to just lock him in the ground. So I could see this matchup being probably like 5.5 CYR, even though Roa has been revamped. Roa's life is easier now, but he still has the same difficulties from as of four in terms of neutral. It's just that his pressure and his damage is just and corner carry at that is just completely revamped. <laughs> All right, so two two B two two B lock him in the corner like I said before. J B two B two C really long range normals lock him in the corner. Two B anti air that. Uh, the Seabro would try to get around still. 5 way to tag that late air dash. JC, yeah. So, like, he can't. He doesn't have enough time to put down orb. That was the edge of 421C, which allows really good meaty. Mix up. Nania. Lock him in the corner again. This is one thing Roa still suffers from. So, like, he doesn't have the neutral control that he needs. And they just skipped the end of the kill, but I'm sure anyone can tell that he just died at the end. Alright, so once again, JB from CYR, trying to keep him away, 2B. It was a random trade, but it's okay. 2A. <laughs> Puts down the orb and sets it off. The only time it's ever really okay to put down an orb in neutral as Roa is when there's a lot of space and you TK it. Notice how he TK'd it and then jumps back and then sets it off? In general, putting down these orbs is really hard, especially if the character's near you. Rocket has a lot of space control with JB and 2B. But this was definitely enough space to set down a TK orb and then set it off. Barakia only had one space to land, which is like directly in front of him. 
So he lands into the orb, still blocks it. It wasn't a bad move on Roro's part, but in general, he has a hard time in neutral. See, right there is exactly what I'm talking about. He set that one orb off because he TK'd it and then he set it off in the air, which is fine. And then he tries to set up another orb and he tries to set it off. He sees Roro going towards him. I mean, he sees Rocky going towards him in JB and he tries to set it off, but it trades. It, it takes time to put it down and to set it off, which is one of Roa's biggest problems. It's more for pressure, in my opinion, than in neutral against characters like Warakia, but it's still not something to completely neglect. <clears throat> Alright, so 2C to catch uh, Warakia's dash in. 2 2 6 c OTG into fucking combos. 2B to disrespect the air movement, but yeah, he's just locking down the corner again on top of the orb. He tries to dodge the orb, but the orb is way too active for that. Once again, same setup with 260, and that was interesting. I'm not even sure if that was a cross-up. Let's see that again. Okay, he's facing a different side. That might be cross-up? That is really interesting. That is really interesting. Either, either way, uh, Takashi got hit, so... Oh, the reason why I brought up that Ro is facing the other, other way... It's because in Melty Blood, you only there there are no like real cross ups in Melty Blood. You have to block the way that the character's facing. It's not like Street Fighter where I'm facing left and I'm jumping over you and I and I hit like medium kick or something like that and you're blocking the other way and you, it just works. Uh, you get hit. You have to block the side that the move comes out on. In Melty Blood, you have to block the way that the the offensive character is facing. So. There are no like Street Fighter esque cross ups, and the only real cross ups are Sandoris, which I'll get to in later episodes, I'm pretty sure. But for now, I just want to get that out of the way with cross up protection in Multi Blood. <clears throat> Alright. So C Row took that match earlier. Wow, 5C anti air from C Row. That's actually really risky. The, the cooldown on that, I mean, recovery on that, and startup is like really, really hard. But the active frame is really good. Catches him with the late uh, air dash JC. Oh my god, so much damage. Wadakia does bleed, but this is definitely good damage. Good charge, sets up the orb, good meter, just good everything. This character is definitely revamped now. Holy shit, 6k? Are you fucking serious? Damn. Alright, so trying to catch him with late air dash, just like he did for him. Oh, staggered, caught his 2A. Air throw, JB falling. That JB catches Tex. 2A, 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 5B, 2C. Oh, good shit. Catch him standing. JB falling again. Tries to go for that double overhead gimmick. Oh, it's not exactly a gimmick. It's just kind of tricky. Oh, whiffs an air grab. That's really bad. Yeah. This is why you can't whiff an air grab in NBAA. Because you actually can get punished. It's not like fucking NBA C, Where you had option select throw shield. Alright, so. Wow, that was mean. He did walk back to be like really late. That's like Street Fighter S shit. Alright, so. 6C overhead. Behind the scene, uh, scene arrow summon. It's pretty tricky because you can't see the startup too clearly. Alright, so Roy throw to start off the match. It's gonna lead to like. Ooh, nice. Confirm. Uh, drops a combo. 2B, 5B. 5B whiffs. Counter hit. Allows another combo. Ah, uh, drops the input right there. Okay, JA counter hit. Roy tries to dash 5B to punish. Doesn't work out. JB, JB, 5B. Bro is just trying to work around Warakia's ranges and range. Uh, Warakia trying to force him to make what I was mean. Okay. So, what happened here was the Roa knew that he was going to fall and didn't have enough time to put down a normal. And the Ro, I mean, yeah, the Roa knew that. The Warakia knew that. So, Roa tried to catch him with 2C on the way down, which catches a, a landing recovery on a lot of things. Because it's active a lot, actually. It's active like 10 frames or something. It's pretty good normal for that. But Rocky knew that. Delayed his air movement by stopping himself in the air. And does 2 6 uh, B air cuddle in the air. And oh, that might be A. I'm not too certain. All I know is that it was one hit. It was counter hit. And a lot of combo afterwards. Rocky's air movement and just overall neutral game is still really good. Alright. So he took the second round of that. Spacing, spacing again. Waka trying to enforce a JB. Try to set up an orb, but try to set it off. But like I said before, it's really hard to do that in neutral against players that know how to play. So, just blocking, zoning. 5 A's, gets caught by 2B or 2C. JB falling again, trying to cast a tech. He's not teching, it's good shit. 
2-2-B. Yeah, after that, uh, you can move out. That landing was actually a really good challenge, and I'm surprised he didn't wall slam comp off of it like he did before. Uh, he ended up on the other side. He tried to suspect anyway, but it's me. JB. Where's the JC? It's probably JC. Wow. Corner carry off that 2 60 Yeah. It costs 100 meter, but the reward's pretty high now, so you might as well just use it whenever you can. 2 to b Orb set up again. JB, JB. Just, Bro is trying to work desperately around this Rocky, and Rocky is just not giving him any room. 2B anti air, trying to tag him. JB just locked him down in the corner, trying to dash grab, but that was a good heat. Sets up the orb once he finally gets the distance, shielded the 260, and uses 421C from C Rocky to take the match. Alright, so I might go back on these sets later, but that's the new C Roa. C Roa is just a whole nother man right now. Way too godlike. Like I said before, he still suffers from the same problems in neutral. Kind of hard to set off the orbs. Kind of hard to set them up unless you TK them and they're really far away from you. His neutral is still relatively weak. But now his 2-3-6-C has a high reward. Corner carry can lead to real combos. His pressure isn't exactly scary. But it's good now. Because of those orbs that he gets to set up after the combos. The orbs do hold that kind of place where you just stare at them and you just hit them afterwards. And the damage, the sheer damage into like one mix up. 1.05 is mainly centered around that from that I noticed high damage into like some silly mix up off the OTG relaunch system. And that's, that's the uh, direction the game seems to be going in, which isn't exactly bad, but personally I don't really agree with it. I like the way the engine worked before. But that's Takashi Siwara and that was good. Kasetsu Siroa. Good sets, good sets. And now I want to show you <laughs> probably one of the most hated characters in the new, the new version, 1.05. Powered Seal. Now this character has probably been soft banned by now because she is a little ridiculous, high damage, stupid kind of shit that she gets to do. But uh, I wanted to highlight how I think White Len has not exactly an easy time against them, but can handle them to a decent degree. As shown by Hiro Hiro here, facing Udonge H Power Seal and Ashi, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, C Power Seal, both good players, both players that are definitely good at this game, and both players that have a decent idea how to control Power Seal. And Hiro Hiro is probably one of the best white lands I've ever seen. So he's playing C and F white land. His F he has space control down. I think it's pretty good. Pressure, I think, could use slightly some work. His C is pretty sick, though. It's pretty clear that he mains C. And it's just funny how to watch these matches and just watch, like, Power Seals have difficulty with a character like C. White Len, who isn't normally considered, like, a great character. So, I think the main reason why is because, um... HY, I mean, White Len in general can, like, is more about space control... Even in C, she has JC full charged. She can put down, like... Okay, in C, not so much, but she does have some mediocre space control with JC. And 2B's reach is kind of far. Her anti is kind of weak, but the mix-up afterwards is good. And, it's, and especially the direction 1.05 is going in, it's it's just a good direction to just be able to do high damage off your mix-ups. She doesn't have any real OCD bullshit, but I don't think she really needs it. So anyway, we have Hiro Hiro C White Land versus Udonge HPCL. <laughs> Alright, this volume's probably a little too low. Alright. So already to start off, Powered Seal is using just stupid like air tower fucking like lightning waves. They're just uh, this character is so ridiculous. So Hiro Hiro is just like trying to deal with this shit, getting counter hit. He's like, wow, you're just locking me in the corner and just doing one DPs that she can after. JC full charge kind of hurt, which is exactly what I was talking about before. Allows her to try to claim the space, but she, yeah, she doesn't exactly have to do it too. Her DPs... I have to pause that. Her DPs, uh, as... A lot of people think they were, like, fully invo before, but even her C version is only low invo. Yeah, thank God for counter hit too, exactly. But... 
Her DPS aren't mid or high invul; they're just low invul, which is a good invul to have in this game against certain characters like Tono or Nanaya in the corner who could only have who could only meaty you low. It gives characters like that a hard time, definitely. But against characters like Whiteland, you get meaty highs or, or lows. You really don't want to be doing that, and he pays for that right there. All right. So here he was just going the fuck in. Due to that overhead, the OTG isn't as scary as other characters, which I think this is the, like a final OTG, but he does get a good reset into re uh, like pressure right here. Late air dash, ATC, takes him out. Hero to hero going the fuck in on this HP seal. Alright, so DP, la la la. Howard Seal just wants to do whatever she wants. That, the 2A, 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 walk 2A, 2A, 2A. Finally disrespected 2B, but character's pretty silly in general and hard to disrespect. But trying to claim those ground spaces with those icicles, but it's not really working out. That was pretty godlike. She uses HY, I mean, White Lens forward dashes and back dashes have invo on both of them. So she used the forward dash to get past the, um, the lightning. Oh, Sinister, uh, regarding Meaty, Meaty is a move that stays active for a good amount of time while the other person is getting up. So, in other words, it's pretty much a move that uh, stops the other player from disrespecting you when they're getting up. So, it's like a move that would hit you frame one or two when you're getting up. And since the the DPs don't have high uh, low invul, if I hit you with a move when you're getting up with 5B, which is considered Meaty, you can't disrespect it. So that's what Immediate is. Sorry for assuming that you might have known that. Feel free to ask questions if you don't know what I'm talking about anytime or any point. I'll be, fr you know, I'm really free to them. I don't really mind. Yeah, yeah. Immediate's force players to block on wake up. That's the entire concept about it. M any good game really has good Immediate's in general. <clears throat> Alright, so let's just go a little back here to see that lightning. So once again, the lightning. And then she tries lightning again, and he forward dashes through that. Like I said, her forward dashes have invul, and her back dash has invul. The invul isn't is, uh, particularly good on meaty, on, on players trying to uh, meaty you or like oki you or whatever. But in certain situations like this, they're just godly. She just dashes straight through it and just catches his recovery. Drops a combo, and he gets a DP. JC. Okay, so this is gonna hurt. Goes into the setup. Yeah, here we go. What kind of bullshit are we gonna see? Oh, it was just a low. Nash is out. Ugh. Bad heat. JC cross up catches it. Power Seal is just doing whatever. <clears throat> and so Hero Hero is just like, how do I deal with this? Alright, so Hero Hero just trying to like JC around uh, H Power Seal and gets the random hit JTC on the way down. 4.3k, not bad damage. Tries a 5B meaty again to stop the DP, but okay, this is moving too fast. Hold on. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go that through that a little bit slower. JTC on the way down, catches the recovery of that overhead. Combo into roughly 4.3k. 5B meaty to try to cast a DP. Because once we, as we'd established, the DP only has low invul, so 5B will stuff it every time. H Power Seal woke up with dodge, then shields the uh, the late reaction to it. C, uh, C Whiteland DPs out with 2 and 4 A, which is probably one of the best DPs in the game in terms of just sheer vulnerability. Back dash again to try to get around that lightning. Dash 5 C anti air catches the guard break. 2 B meaty dodges again. Now he's in heat. H wing heat's pretty good. Gains life. Not allowed to get hit. Free hit. And random arc drive, which is hard to punish. Oh, either way, crashes a random match. 5C, 4C, 2C, and to mix up. Yeah, that's unfair. <laughs> that's unfair. Okay, so let me explain what happened here. White lane, after these, these setups, can either choose to uh, to like further her combo but here the paration was pretty high she wasn't gonna get much damage off of it so she just decided to go for a reset which isn't a bad decision at all okay so she goes for a faint that faint is pretty tricky because i like god he can land on like others any other side i don't know the specifics of it because i don't really play this character in much detail 
but that mix up was pretty sick. And he was on the other side, and he blocked wrong, and he died. Pretty good mix up. Alright, so now we have Ashi. Ashi? Ashi? I don't know how to pronounce it. See, Power Seal. And here he will plays F White Land for this matchup. Um, I don't really know much about pa Power Seal in general, but here he really seems to know what he's doing. So, when he chose F White Land, I'm sure that there's a good reason why he did, and he's not just winging it. So, let's just watch. So White Land in general, <clears throat> sorry to pause it real quick, but F White Land is a, I forgot to go over the general overview of F White Land. F White Land's more of a zoning, Street Fighter-esque character with fireballs. She, she's really lame, uses charge, uses air fireballs, ground fireballs, and icicles that she could place on the ground that don't go away until she either blocks or hit. I'm half sure about the block. On the hit, I'm certain it goes away. Uh, if Bell, if you're watching, just feel free to correct me on that because I don't remember exactly. I think it goes away on her block. But either way, it's an ice patch that she puts on the ground. And you can't really step on it. She's allowed to just stand in it. But the thing about it is that it's kind of hard to set up. She needs she needs good like space from you to not get caught up in her startup. The recovery doesn't really matter because by the time that she recovers, the ice the icicle pit's already there. So she's just allowed to stand on it, try to anti-air you, and then like throw air fireballs. She's more about laming away, and her pressure is not exactly bad, but it's not great. She, but it's good because at any point in her pressure, she could really just back off and just play the lame, the lame zoning game again. If you don't know what lame means, it's like just playing kind of like boring, like getting away from the opponent, trying to keep them away, just not letting them get near you. It's called lame probably because people don't like watching it, but I think it's a respectful style of play that's almost available in any fighting game. So, Hero Hero choosing F White Land for this matchup against C Powered Seal definitely say something. And what it's trying to say is that C Powered Seal probably either goes in really hard on C White Land, or C White Land can't keep her away enough to just uh, get away from her bullshit. So, him choosing F White Land's like straight up saying, like, I just don't want you near me. I don't want to have to deal with your bullshit at C White Land. So he's just trying to play the lame game against C Power Seal, which isn't a bad call in my opinion because this character is a little ridiculous. Oh, so the match starts off. Ashi versus Hero Hero. The air fireball starts off the match immediately. She has two versions of the air fireball. One that doesn't stop her mo air movement and just flies straight down and one that does. The one that does is B. The one that doesn't is A. Both are both are particularly like really good in neutral and kind of hard to deal uh, for most characters to deal with. All right, so catches the landing recovery of the JC all the way up in the air with five B. Here's the ice pillar. She has two ice pillars, one that covers horizontal ground space and one that covers vertical. The vertical is more for um, corner control because if Power Seal was still here and didn't move out the way he did, let's just imagine that Power Seal is right where uh, White Lin is. He would not be able to poke out because this is just pure hitbox. It will hit you out of whatever you want to do. And you, it's kind of hard to jump out on this. This more The, the more spacing for this uh, ice pillar is like right around here. He got it kind of far, but he tried to work with what he had. You can't jump out. You can't hit it. Whiteland just stands behind it and does whatever the fuck she wants. So that's why the lame game from uh, Whiteland is really good. So Parasil just gets away from her. She's like, I don't want to deal with that. I just, I just want to sit on the other side of the screen. Fine play. Gets randomly countered from the sure it's the air fireball. Trying to air fireball around the lightning, horizontal lightning. Just air fireballs, that's a low. 2B. Yeah, that's the horizontal ice pillar I said from before. It somehow didn't hit that DP recovery, which is pretty questionable, but whatever. Okay, so this is the EX uh, fireball that he could follow up after, I'm sure, both A or B. Fire, uh, like, ice ball, whatever you want to call it. And it's plus on block and allows her to continue pressure, but costs 100 meters, so it's okay. So, just dashing into a 5 b Overhead. That hit, second hit's an overhead. He tried to backdash it, but he catches recovery. Tries to wake up with DP there, and once again, he meets him with 5A, which is a mid, so you can't do that. He gets a perfect, which is pretty stunning on Ashy uh, Powered Seal, I have to say. Alright, so JC random count across up. God, this is gonna hurt. F1 Lin has pretty high defense too, guys. Keep that in mind. That did 5.2k. Fake overhead. Probably catches what looked like a bunker. 
And to just, oh my god damn it. Drops a combo though. Here he was just trying to claim that space with fireballs and JC full charge. Fireballs, JC full charge, fireballs. This is the lame game that she tries to play. She lays on the ice pillar. Uh, actually tries to get away from it. Doesn't want to deal with that. DP blocked. But she can move after, which is one of the most obnoxious things. JC cross up on the way down. Trade on mashing. Lightning again, try to catch that TB. Yeah, this character's really good. Alright, so Lightning claiming all the horizontal space. Once again, White Lens just jumping above her, trying to get the ice. Oh, yes, got it. JC, JC drops a second jump there. Don't know what happened. But either way, she's just trying to keep above him with the, uh, the icicles and just like try to get him out of there. Yeah, the horizontal ice pillar is godlike. Like, you can't disrespect that. Throw into loop into ice pillar, which for uh, forces respect on wake up. She just succeeded to catch that back dash. Drops a combo. Wake up Pete. JC, JC, claiming all this space above powered, uh, C powered seal. I can see why this is a good choice for Hero to Hero. Okay, so, loop. Oh, God. So much damage. It's a good knee, too. It's a lightning setup. Oh, I get tagged. What are you doing? He wasn't blocking, that's what. He wasn't blocking again. He gets tagged. Yeah, he's gonna he's probably gonna die for this. Yeah. Oh, well. So, C powered seal is a pretty ridiculous character. Not, like,. In my opinion, she's not broken, but she's definitely way too good. Soft ban is probably an effect in Japan. I haven't really filed Japan that well, but if I had to take a guess, I would say probably just a soft ban. Alright, so we got F Nania on the right versus C Power Seal. This is probably going to be the same result as before. I haven't really been following Nanias that much in uh, Japan. <laughs> DP is the JC. It's whatever, I don't want to block this shit. Body net, trying to tag her like recovery from above on the horizontal lightning. The same kind of strategy that uh, the FY land earlier did. Drops a DP combo. I don't know how. Okay. Horizontal lightning, that's just plus an easy combo after. JC cross ups. Oh my god, this character. 5C goes that far. JC falling. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Oh, drops a combo. F9 is giving him room to breathe. This F9 should be looking and trying to regain his meter right now, or just try to monkey around. Yeah, that was a bad decision. What the Nadia should have been doing in the situation right there, right here, was just look for a way out, try to get this 38 meter or so back so it could go into instant uh, initiative heat and gain all this uh, red life back. Initiative heat from F Moon instantly regains life and cancels a move. So he could have either gotten a mix up, safe, safe uh, heat life gain and neutral or just whatever but he tries to bunker out of this which but what I've seen is really hard to do and only some players have gone away with it and it costs 50 meter so he just pretty much gave away that match alright so spacing. spacing just horizontal lightning 2c on the way down catch the recovery oh, he's on the other side but actually he's pretty good at blocking here he goes oh drops a combo body on the way down body nay again yeah, that was a good body net. Catches him trying to move out after it. Tried to fast roll, but get caught by 2C, I believe? I don't really know this character's normal there. Yeah, we don't. We haven't really been able to play her. Hello, Bizarre, what's up? Okay, so we have... C Power Seal just doing whatever she wants. Combos, getting a lot of meter. JC falling, 5B, 5B, 2C. Lightning, just... Oh, God, this pressure. 2 and 4B, kind of random, but... I, I don't really hate the decision. This character is a little wild. Just F9 are trying to find a way in. This life. Oh god. Yeah, the life, the time, everything was against him, and now he's dead. Actually, actually, uh, C Power Seal is not one you want to mess with. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, really? Okay, whatever. So we have Waka F3. Waka's real main is F4 Hockey. He's been messing with a lot of characters lately. This is probably his latest one. Alright, so. Combos. Combos. Oops. Good media on the way down. Lightning that you can't really disrespect. Tway, tway, tway. Oh, it tries to shield. It gets caught by low. Okay. So jump, jump. Lightning. God, this one's stupid. It tries to shield out again. It's not fast enough. Wow, two way on the way down, catch the recovery of that. Uh, throw? Yeah, you're good. Perfect. 
Poor, poor Waka. Hisui has no good reversal to get out of that. Alright, so... JC on the way down. 2C, 2C, 60. That gives a lot of good meaty for uh, Hisui to really get work with. Mainly 2A or 5B, but he goes for 2A here. 2A is like plus 3 or something. So Hisui gets good pressure off of it. Goes for a throw afterwards, but the CPR seal protects out. 5B full charge into stagger 5C, which is good damage and good stagger. Goes for the save tech punish afterwards, except for the stool. You can bunker stools. Uh, which is one thing that uh, Hisuis have to worry about when they're t when they're trying to like blushing you, since it's like gives a constant clash box to just bunk out of. Problem is it costs 50 meter, and the Sui, if they're they're uh, looking for it, can block it easily. But it's still a good thing to use often. It's still pretty good though. Okay, so lightning JC 2A just so Sui lands on the other side. J6B, which gives a delayed hit. If you try to just suspect on the way down, you'll you'll just uh, trade with the the dust, I guess J six B of it, and she'll just combo after it. It's really good. All right, two 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 A. That's a plus. Wow, so much boxing she can throw. Combo two A two A two A. Plus three or something. Five B full charge to super plus. I'm pretty sure. And an auto, auto stagger, I believe. Whatever. That was good damage. Damn. Alright, so we got JC, 2 and 4B, JC on the way down, that covers a lot of holes on this base, I mean the power 2 just ran into it. Alright, so we got loops, into Meaty, into Lightning, which is kind of ridiculous. That's Lightning, and now you're in the corner, and now you're taking damage. Alright, so... J A J C trying to lock her down in the corner. D P's out. I don't give a fuck. Just want to get around. Oh, never mind. Gets tagged randomly by five C. Just standing there. That's pretty questionable. Goes to tech punish again. Wake up P. Here we go. Lightning. Didn't tech. Doesn't get caught. That is a tech trap, by the way. Okay. So five C full charge. Lightning gets caught. Yeah. She would be able to come off that. But he drops the D P. Fly around. Do what I want. Lightning again into frame trap. Instant heats, try to get the life back, but anti air 2A. Yeah, this isn't Blaze Blue. That doesn't belong to Alright, so 2C. Ooh, it's JB, JC. Wow, that combos? Damn. This character's stupid. Alright, yeah, I've had enough of this character. <laughs> Time to move on. <clears throat> so, what we have here is. Let's see. What do, who, who, who do we have here exactly? I forget. Oh, yeah, alright, okay. So, we have. Uh, the Seifuku's name escapes me. I feel bad. But we have F Warakia, high speed. I'm pretty sure this is high speed F Warakia versus. I'm not sure who this uh, C Seifuku is, but it's one of the lamest and most respectful ones I've seen so far. Nia? It might be Nia. If you can read Japanese, try reading the name that will pop up at the top in two seconds. If it's there. Okay, no, it's not. Whatever. Um, so. The general overview of these characters, C. Seifuku, uh, let me go over F. Warakia since he hasn't changed much. F. Warakia hasn't really changed much from F, I mean, from console to 1.05. The character is like, plays around setups, instant overheads, his, da his forward dash, like, hmm. He gives up his space control for like, fireballs that are slow and like, cover a lot of the screen for him and setups that you can't really suspect and are hard to block. Like, kind of like a 4A, not exactly, but his 4 dash is, if you ever played uh, Vampire Savior, it's just like uh, Jetta's, I believe to, uh, the name is pronounced, where he could get instant JA, which is four, 14 frames, if done like as fast as possible, 14 frame overhead, which is practically unblockable. Then a 2A, or just a 2A, which, you know, is a low. So when he knocks you down, you're this, you're forced to decide between either instant over a JA or a low two A or whatever else he wants to do, which is a lot of options. He has a lot of options. He's a good, like that was one thing about FYK, but he loses his ground dash because his uh, his his forward dash is now like this this like vertical diagonal arcing thing, which only goes straight like up and like I don't know how to explain it, but. When it when you, when it comes up, I'll just point it out. I'm sure you'll see it. 
Um, so he loses a lot of ground control because of that. Siwaraki's ground dash was one of his strongest tools. And because he loses that, he loses a lot of space control. He doesn't have anti-air 2B anymore. So he like he's generally control. Uh, he, yeah, it's like Morgan, but uh, F Rocket in general has to give up a lot of ground control. He doesn't get anti-air 2B easily. His 5B can be anti-air. It's just far less, uh, far harder to get consistently. His JB is the same. His JC, uh, like hits twice, I believe, which is kind of weird. And he gets air fireballs, which covers a good amount of ground space for him. So he's kind of lacking, lacking in that as aspect. But he gets good. Uh, he doesn't exactly get good damage, but he gets good resets, like F Nania, lower damage but high reset. I mean, good reset opportunities into like mix up constantly. So that's F Rocket in a nutshell. I didn't cover all of his stuff, but if it comes up, I'll just point it out. Okay, and then we have C. Seifuku on the left. This character went from being like kind of bad in console to just being fucking ridiculous in 1.05. Just this character is probably like A plus tier now. High damage off everything, corner carry, just just mix up afterwards, just as before. Zar tried to play this character in console, and the uh, from playing his C. Seifuku. Problems I realized that is that her neutral is pretty much really weak outside of some specials, so she's forced to like fish for these kind of and just specials just like be really annoying. Her command grab was would be scary if it did more damage and led to scarier mix up, which it does in this game. So in console that was her problem. Her command grab wasn't really like even that damaging. I don't think it's even that damaging in 1.05. It's just the mix up is good. I haven't even seen it that much, and. In 1.05, they her her pressure is okay. It's pr I wouldn't say brain dead, but it's pretty good. And she's uh, she used to suffer from low damage and no corner carry off or anything, and ha she would be forced to play her shitty neutral game. Yeah, and console was pretty bad. So, but now she gets high reward off any of her hits, high damage, and corner carry. So she went from being a character that did no damage and had like no real like pressure or any mix up outside of command grab to having high damage uh corner carry and like just good mix up afterwards so she went from being like terrible to being a general 1.05 character <clears throat> so because of that most C Seifuku's in the recent matches I've seen play kind of wild they just do whatever oh I get high reward off anything I'll just kind of fly around do whatever I want do high damage do like 5.5k for just getting random hit JC knock you down in the corner do some crazy ass mix up and just kill you off two, co two combos but this C Seifuku I chose this C Seifuku out uh, in particular because this C Seifuku is playing the character the way I think she's, she's more designed to be played kind of lamer still can do the high damage high mix ups but just not caring overall far more she doesn't have many good reversals or whatever so she generally has to care alright so generally two lame players facing each other high speed F Warakia and this C Seifuku whose name escapes me let's watch <laughs> Alright, so fireballs start the match and the pit from C Seifuku. They're playing each other around each other's ranges straight off of the match. The pit's here trying to lock him down in the ground, air fireballs, trying to like flame tongue out of this. This is really, really high speed. Oh, it's Ko? Okay, so Ko C Seifuku. Thank you, Viet Geek. Okay, so this is part of a Don no, 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 no. So C Seifuku, I think, is a better character than Ephraki in general. But Ephraki has these air fireballs, and C Seifuku's job is like try to kind of uh, try to play around these with the ground pillar uh, which this ground pillar denies his access past a certain point because he doesn't have a good ground dash to get past it like I said before because of his forward dash so he doesn't really have good ground movement to get past this pillar so she so sets on the pillar uh, starts playing with the air fireballs I mean air um, flame tongues outside of his range trying to get the random counter hit this f rock is being extremely careful to try to not get hit by that stuff he's doing 2-2-B full charge which is tornadoes that come up out of the ground full screen trying to play around his ranges air fireballs to try to like deny c Seifuku free entry from above or like from the ground and this rock is working really hard and the Seifuku is being pretty lame working around his ranges she knows his ranges and working around it really well like if you just watch the beginning part of this match again 
just like just to like straight up watch it they're moving really fast but every single one of their movements is just really really for her and really good, done well so like they're just trying to play each other around or trying to each other range, ranges 2 b trying to catch some random movement shield flame tongue counter hit just like ground hit into a combo which he did drop by the way that would have done good damage but he just texts out so ground, uh, air, like, random air pillar again. 2 2 to try to catch the tornado. It's like high speed movement here. High speed. I love it. So ground pillar try to clear that space again. Waki has to back off because he knows that pit's not going to go away anytime soon. Air pillar, I mean air flame tongue. But Waki is trying to slowly work his way into uh, safe which he is accomplishing. He gets randomly counter hit though. He has to be really careful not to get counter hit this guy because it really hurts him. That 2 2 6 c is plus on block. He's a, she's able to do 5C afterwards, just, I'm pretty sure, wall slams on air hit. In general, you just have to respect that. So he did, and he got out. Because he respected, which is good shit. And that's general, general energy to melt blood. Okay, that, that ground dash from before is exactly what I was talking about. You notice how he, like, flew up? That's his ground dash. That's his dash. Which is why his ground game is really weak. So because of that, he can do, like, rising JA off the forward dash and, like, get a 14 frame overhead. Or go for a low or land on the other side. This wasn't that hard to block in particular, but I've seen some crazy FYR stuff. You don't even want to know. But, so, 5B just backdashes out of it. Good, he saw the side that he was on. He tries to lock it down in the corner again. He's on fireball. GGB locking down in the corner. Okay. Let me explain that bit right there. Oh, uh, you do want to know? Okay, I'll link you uh, f a video later from Tomberry. But, <clears throat> alright, so, what C Seifuku can do... Which I thought was a glitch, but apparently they still haven't fixed it. When she's sitting on one of her pits, she doesn't even have to manually activate it, which has high, uh, like, 20 frame star up or something, something bad, something risky, and has bad cooldown. She could just stand on top of it, wait till you near, and then press D, the shield button, and it has one frame start up, and <laughs> you think it's intentional on purpose? Well, either way, it's a really good tool. She stands on top of the, uh, the, the vertical pillar and hits shield, and... Like, she, she protects herself versus uh, any hit from the other player and attacks at the same time. And it's relatively safe because you're, you're sitting behind a pillar, so it's going to be really hard to punish that shield. In this case, he shielded JA, I believe, and then got a counter hit out of it. And she's going to fall up into the corner. Uh, yeah. so now he's in the corner. Now you got command grab. And now you're going to get hit. To corner carry? Yeah. So literally from one corner to the other in this game. Really, really good. It's a 2 c hit. I believe that's 2 c anyway. Mix up. JC, JC. This block is... Yeah, this block is definitely a straight up block. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so I, that's exactly why I chose out the Say Seifuku. The Say Seifuku, I think, is really good. I realize Say Seifuku just kind of flies around and does whatever she wants. Yeah. So we got Air Flame Tongue, Ground Flame Tongue. Hit, I just call it hit. Okay, Rocky gets that one hit, burns his damage. Uh, base out that heat. Okay, so, ooh, instant JA. Somehow gets around the shield, probably badly timed. So, 5 it, 2A, 5B. Just 2C, fl uh, flame, flame balls. I just call them flame balls. So, the Seifuku's have to protect these flame balls and the tornadoes coming up from below. Okay, so... Fireballs, more fireballs. Flame Tongue again, trying to tag him. 2 2 B. The Seifuku is really respecting this rocket range. It's a JA. Okay, so he gets tagged into 421C. Okay, so. Ooh, that's dirty. So he did uh, dash, back dash, uh, uh, JA. So it's really good. Yeah, that's a pretty dirty mix up. Damn. Okay. So JA, JC on the way down, cross up? Let, wait, hold on, I really have to stare at that again. There's no way that moves cross up. Please don't move cross up. Wow. Wait, hold up. Hold on, guys, I'm gonna pull up frame boxes. I really, really don't want this move to be cross up. This, this move isn't cross up, right? They might have changed the hitboxes from console, which is fair, but in console, I'm pretty sure that move did not cross up. So let's just let's just look at this again. <clears throat> All right, so C Seifuku, C Seifuku. Okay, S Akia, C S Akia. Yeah, perfect. So let's go down to JC. Yeah, that's B E. 
which is not what we want to look at right now. Okay, I guess that can cross up. FYR's like hitbox is pretty fat though, which is probably why he got hit by the end part of this JC, which is still pretty nasty. That's pretty unfair for Fwarakia. Poor Fwarakia. Oh well. Yeah, so that's my hitbox <coughs> stream session ever. Alright, hitboxes are pretty important, guys. Don't neglect them. Alright, so. <laughs> let's look at that again. It's kind of ridiculous. JC. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it dropped a combo. That would have been 5k in corner carry, which is kind of ridiculous. Alright, so this. This, uh, let's see if this laying down pits again, trying to get around the rocket. Yeah, rocket is putting out air fireballs. Clearing the space. Okay, you're in the corner. I'm gonna make you stay there. Here we go. Okay. Mix up. 2-2-3-8. Two, 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 Tech punish wasn't there. Oh, I'm trying to mash out. It doesn't work. Air fireball. Needs him to get off. Air fireball. Ground pillar. Which he dodged around and stopped? Wow. I didn't even know where that pit was. That's pretty unfair. Alright, so. JB. Dash JC. Air fireballs, more. More air fireballs. Okay. Oh, JB tags him. Still sitting behind the pit, though. Still have him behind it. There you go, tornado. This is when you move in. Oh, he doesn't have anything set up. Yeah, now Rocket can go in. Okay. 2-2-A, 2-2-A, 2-B, 6-C. Nice. That was, I believe, high speed. F Rocky is wins. Okay, so. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this is you, F Sion. Yeah, okay. That seems about right. If anyone can read Japanese, please just let me know. I believe this is you. So, is that you? Because I can't read Japanese at all. I believe this is high speed, and I believe this is you. You, as in. You. <clears throat> Okay, so you have signs pretty good. You's pretty good at sign in general, and it's really fun to watch him. But in this situation, it's really funny because high speed is about to move up the Donson, and you have signs about to move down. So they're both like at their respective ends of like just their their like rope. High speed just wants to get out of this Donson, and you just wants to stay in. So <laughs> they're both like ready to move out. <clears throat> but either way, uh. F sign is pretty different from the other signs. Her her game is more about like horizontal range bullets, which claims a lot of ground space and airspace. Her bullets can't reach full screen, uses more ammo. Um and she's more about space control. Her ground dash is okay, her pressure is far simpler. It's not as scary. Least is the same damage, but the options are definitely far more limited than before. So she's more about ground control, um, leading you to the corner and like using 2A for pressure, which is plus 3, 5A is mediocre, 6C is safe on block and hard to shield, even if you know it's coming. Um, let's see, 5B is okay. Her 5C, which is a whip that comes out, I'm sure you'll see, I'll, I'll pause it when it does. Uh, she can follow up afterwards for a second 5C. You could try to jump out of the startup for the second 5C, but she can do one option afterwards, which is kind of negative on block, but still really good. Uh, 2 and 4B, the whip afterwards, she could combo afterwards into like 4K, she starts off with that. So her pressure in general isn't as scary as the other moons because like the options aren't as great, but the options are still there. Her pressure is mainly centered around 2A though because it leads into like where she doesn't have to like force 50-50 RPS and her full screen control around bullets is pretty good. But f Wakia is probably going to dance around these ranges with its ground air dash that goes above it. So, I'm actually, I don't remember how this match went, but I remember it was good. So, I'll just start off. So, they're both, they're both moving around. He's not using the bullets yet. He's charging. Air fireball, respecting it. Just playing around with air fireball. Jumps up and blocks another one. Bullet trying to tag in full screen. Then just bullets go horizontal in this move. Oh, drops a combo. Maybe rare for you. Yeah, he's not going to drop this time. Oh, JC links. Oh, my God. So much damage. Yeah, you can't really tech that in the corner against the sun. That's an overhead, and it's plus on block. That 3C... Okay, let me slow it down a little bit. <clears throat> Alright. So, in, in the corner, you can't tech out, because that JA falling would catch 4 techs, and if you tried to neutral tech, she could drop down 2 and 4C, which is a uh, 
air command grab super kind of thing where she drops directly straight down. So it, it's a 50-50 RPS that's in her favor. If she's right, she gets good damage or good mix-up afterwards. And if you're wrong, you, you, you take that damage, my bad. If you're right, all you do is get out. So you don't really want to play that game too much because it's not in your favor at all. Um, it's okay to play sometimes, though. And let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, okay so she jumps in uh, 6C, which is kind of hard to link after if she doesn't have a uh, counter hit on it, but it's still a good overhead nonetheless. 6C into 2A, it's kind of hard link, like I just said. But 6C is plus on block, so it's just safe to kind of do over and over again. Alright, so. 5B, 2B. That 3C is pretty negative on block. Thing is, you don't really want to mash it too much because she can follow up with really, really safe options. And that leads to high damage. She could do whip afterwards, which leads to like 3K or 4K, I believe. She could do bullet after. So, you knows what he's doing, and high speed knows that you knows what he's doing because they play each other a lot. I've seen some casual sets between these two, they're really good. So, high speed just doesn't want to challenge that because he knows that you knows what he's doing. Even though it's negative, the options afterwards are really scary. So you don't want to disrespect them. General uh, MLT Blood, like, engine. So he's doing 2A, 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 over and over. 6 C's plus a block. 6 B tags the overhead. He might die from this. Alright, so general air facing. Uh, guns full screen. Yes, yeah, that's what I was talking about before. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. 5C to whip. Landing. What? That was probably a big mess up, but whatever. Okay, so 5B tags the dash out. Oh my god. This matchup looks really bad for F block here. 2A, 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 which is like plus 3 or whatever. He's respecting it really hard though. Oh man. Oh, he got caught standing up. 2A is low. Bullet trying to lock him down the corner. Is it JA? I wanna play. Probably gonna instant heat. Should I get this life back? Is he, yeah, there it is. Gets his life. Oh. But you knew he was gonna do that. He shielded it. The pit, you can uh, shield. Alright. Ooh, overhead. Oh, God. JC full charge. JDC, JDC, Arizona. You're dead. Damn. This matchup looks so hard for F block, yeah. Alright, so we have. Not Nia. What was his name? Uh, someone said it earlier. I feel really bad. Nia. Wow. No, who is this? How do you spell that? Nia or Nia? Oh, it's Ko. Right, my bad. Ko, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. So we have Ko, F, uh... So, C, C, uh, Seifuku versus C, San from you. Uh, use Sisan as his main, and the pressure from uh, Sisan is really scary. Um, let's see. Any notes about this matchup? Uh, in general, Sisan has to work around Sisefiku's ranges. Sisan neutral, I don't want to call it mediocre, but it's mainly focused around getting air counter hits and just like using 2 and 4A to catch awkward ground movement and dash 5A. Okay, so when when she when she like establishes that, it's kind of hard for her to walk around uh, Sisefuku's pits and air pillars. So I'm pretty sure you know what he's doing though. He'd be able to work around it really easily. But uh, San in general will have a hard time in neutral in this matchup. But she does get rewarded pretty heavily from her hits, just like Sisefuku does. Not as highly as Sisefuku does, like 5k into corner carry, but still pretty good. So let's just watch this match. Alright, so JB, JC full charge, which you can move after, unlike his other moves. Actually, no, he can move in all the Yeah, so you see, so I moved after that JC full charge. JC counter hit, 5B, 5C, which is a good uh, confirm to do off of it. Almost common for me. BDP, that is air unblockable, so that's why he did that. It, it seems kind of like shitty to do, but it, since it's air unblockable and you know there's only one direction they're gonna be falling on, it's fine. JC again, he moves after a full charge. Guess that can, uh, random counter up that pit. Combo is in Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, it's a setup. Here comes the mix up. Oh, he tries to jump out. No, he can't move out between those. Okay, uh, nice. Nope. Base the heat. Didn't combo after it's right. That whip, 6C, uh, 4C, where she pulls you back, it's pretty plus. You can't disrespect that. 
you can. You'd have to shield or like backdash. You have to do some sort of reversal because it's so plus that she could just hit you out of your match. Really so a bullet try to lock her down full screen. Her bullets are different in this one though because she like shoots the ground right before you. Okay, so JC full charge, 2-2-C, hits. Oh god. Wow! Okay, I have to pause that, that was godlike. Alright, so he knew that once he bursted, he was gonna backdash. And he had no practical way of the video volume? Oh, sorry, sure, no problem. Okay. Okay, so he knew that he was gonna backdash, and Sisan has no real answer to this, so he just kept on dashing anyway. And when he still kept on dashing, uh, the Akia tried to backdash again. So. He just kept on dashing anyway and just caught the back dash. God like Alright, so let's just work around this volume. <clears throat> okay, that should be good. So I don't know who this Ko is, but this Ko is really Seifuku is really good. He's playing in a way that I like. That ground pit catches his uh, movement. So Okay. JB. JB again. JB is a good rising normal for uh, Akia to do. And if if Sisan tries to jump above him or like at him, JB would have tagged him. So that's why he did it twice and it's just fine. <clears throat> so dash 2C to catch that jump in. Oh, sorry. That's like really Street Fighter esque and something that Zard does a lot with FCL. It's only good for characters with fast moves. So he it cost a recovery and it was just a different spot altogether. So 2C, 5C. It's a combo. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, God. Damage. Alright. 2 2 releases the pit, gets 5 3k, sorry, not 5k. That'd be scary. That's plus unblock the, the pits that she just did. Alright, so pits, 5a, bro, oh, uh, nope. Okay, so random awkward air movement between the two. Dash 5a, ja, j2c on the way down, 5a, 5a, 5a. DP's out, tries to punish, couldn't really. Okay, air, raw air throw, here we go, damage. Nope, never mind. Heats out, tries to get that. Sisan uh, reversals out of pressure are pretty bad. Heat was a good option there. I said out of pressure, not wake up, so don't bring up for DB. <clears throat> Alright, so. Hits, knockdown, corner. Oh, dodge is out. Uses the forward momentum of the dodge. Her dodge moves forward. There's about four characters. No. Two characters off the top of my head who have a dodge that moves forward Miyako, Sion, oh, Kohaku, of course. And uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting one other, but whatever. And so once you have a dodge like that, you could get out uh, of setups like that, pretty, like that, which is pretty good. She doesn't have to deal with the mix-up afterwards. Five, uh, two to six C blocked. Okay, so all right, so two B five eight six C. JC cross up again. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's gotta be consistent. It's the second time that happened. He beats uh he beats you and stays inside the dancing. Alright, so we got F Rocket versus Ko C Seifuku again. Pretty good. Doing the same match we saw before. Playing around the fireballs, hits to try to lock him down. And just him trying to play around Aki's ranges and Aki trying to play around his ranges. Maybe counter hit trades with A J A, which is kind of ass. Wow, gets under that fireball, which is really interesting with dash 2C. Oh, drops a combo. Okay. Ah, uh, pits out. He tried to anti air 5B, which should have worked at that angle, but he stopped his air movement. Okay, so JC, JC, JB falling, which didn't hatch that tech questionably. It should. Uh, fireballs, fireballs. Sitting on that pit, making Gwaki, like, very clear where he can't move and he can. Pit doesn't go away on hit, which is kind of stupid. Counter hit? That's gonna lead to a lot of damage. Oh my god. Corner carry too, and to set up. Here we go. <laughs> Command grab! Japan uses these! High speed is choosing not to burst out of this. Reduces pretty safely, still stays alive. Not gonna instant heat. Oh, there you go, there's an instant heat. Two C's accidentally, I'm pretty sure. JB. Dash JB. Ah, oh, god, 2A. Okay. JC, JC, air throw. JB falling, air fireball. God, it's locking down in the corner, he's trying to jump out. This time is running down, so they're gonna have to do something quickly and just random 2A. <clears throat> All right, so just moving around. Wow, they're both the, his ground movements like really hard to try to catch C safe moves with because he doesn't have a ground dash. So that's why they just kind of moved around and passed each other like that. 
So you're gonna get 5k off of this, oh my god, it's a mix up, which is a low, into pressure, not bad, but too far out for 60 I believe that normal is. Just okay, it's just walk, walk each other out of the corner. Not He didn't feel comfortable to contain the pressure at that range, so he just decided to just back off and not spend the meter to try to get back in, which is a fine decision. Yeah, so he, he pushed himself at the range where they already disrespected each other and they're at a range where they both don't want to really commit, so it's just fine, just walk back. Yep, whatever. Okay, so he just walks forward, realizes that we're off his face, and he just gets a random pit to tag him. I didn't notice that, realized that. Yeah, he was looking for jump out as well. So sitting on that pit again, trying to lock us F Rocket's movement. 2-2-B, full charge, fireballs, fireballs, just sitting on the pit, just staring at each other, doing what they want. The Seep Safe is sitting on a pretty good life lead though, so this F Rocket is ha gonna have to do some work. J.A. falling, catches his rising J.A. Into the pit, into the corner carry. God, such a good character now. Okay, here comes a mix up. Ah, two A mashed out. Yeah, you, you slow down there a little too much, bro. Okay, so we're seeing at we're seeing F Rocket at max and all this red light to gain. We're definitely gonna see a instant heat. There it is. Okay, heats out. Good stuff. Dash JB catches back dash and combo afterwards. There's the pit that moves. Oh God, it moves forward. Up. Ah. I know what to call that. Fire pit? Fire? <sighs> oh, shield's on top of the pit again. That's what we talked about earlier. Where, where is it? Yeah, she gets shield on top of the pit and releases it. Yeah, Zara, if I had to uh, agree agree with you, I think this uh, CS, uh, CS Akia is better at neutral and like lamer and does good decisions, but Nia's not afraid to just do shit. So, Neo would just kind of like just do shit, ride his character being ridiculous, and wins the match. I think this uh, CS Ake has a better idea how to play the character, but I think Neo is just a better player and better decisions. So, he's playing. Neo plays C. Seifuku kind of wild. This, uh, C. Seifuku plays her kind of like safer, neutral, using good tools, more not uh, like more knowledge around like command grab. I haven't seen Neo do one command grab really. Three, <clears throat> you disagree about what, Zar? <clears throat> okay, wait, hold on, I have to highlight that. Okay, so, C. Seifuku's dash is one of the weirdest things in this game. Her ground dash starts off slow and picks up momentum extremely fast. Uh, Nia's pretty good. I, 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 this is theory craft, so I guess it's not like worth arguing over it, but I can see both of them being pretty good. Um, okay, so anyway, let me just, <clears throat> so ground dash, this ground dash picks up momentum. It's, it's like, yeah, it just picks up momentum. It starts off slow, and then as the, f the long she dashes, the faster it becomes. So if you allow CS Ake to dash at you, she doesn't really have any scary normals to follow af afterwards. It's just that she moves so fast that you can't react to it. So like the match starts off, they're both spacing each other, and this uh, what what's his name? Ko Ko Sixefuku has been playing so lame this entire time, just you know setting up pits, setting up like air flame tongues, being all like careful and shit. So this second round, he just goes, you know what? I'm just gonna go in. He's not gonna expect it, and he doesn't. Boom! I'm in your face. <laughs> Dash two A. This doesn't work because uh, the Ekuraki tries to jump back out to be safe, but that was definitely a good play. Really good play. Yeah, surprise nigga, exactly. Okay, so fireball, fireball. Tries to catch him with dash 2A. Gets tagged by the tower. Okay, so JB, 5C. Uh, Commodore, FR doesn't have a dash. Anyway, <clears throat> he's been sniping uh, two TCs. I mean, 36s. Alright, so ground pillar, heat, trying to gain back that life, uh, stop the timer, try to play a little bit lamer. 2 2 C. Alright, so. So the pit. Oh, lightning. Uh, the pits go that high up when you use EX version. 5 C to cast a jump out. That was a really good call. Let me just call back to that play. Okay, so random air hit, which is fine, not confirmed from. Dash uh, 5 C. Godlike. He knew that he didn't have many options there, and if that uh, that was was his face, um, if Rocket doesn't have a ground dash, so the only way for him to get back in is the 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 uh, what is it? How do you call it? It's a triangular dash, a uh, forward up dash. I'm not good with terminology about it, but all I know is that she, he could only move up in this one direction. So he pokes up with five C, 
against C. Rocky, that would have been such a bad decision. But he knew what F. Rocky can do. He knew his options and he knew his opponents. And he just hit 5C and catches him in the air. And confirms properly. And now he's getting about 4K in the mix up. But he drops a combo. Up, oh, gets a K. Tries to match 2A to catch landing recovery, but he doesn't have to land exactly. He says 2 2C again. Alright, tries to shield the first one, but it seems like everyone forget, forgets about the second one. Alright. So these are pretty good sets from every player on this set so far. So we got Yu Sison, I believe, again? Yeah, versus Ko Siwaraki. I mean, C Safety, my bad. Okay, so JB again. JB is a good rising normal to do. <clears throat> Sorry, let me just repause that. So, once again, if they're directly in front of you or above you, JB is such a good normal. This, uh, this, you kind of got lucky. Well, he's not lucky because he didn't hit a button, but if he did hit a button, this would lead to ridiculous damage and corner carry. But he didn't, so whatever. So, text out. Uh, super jumps, air throws, knew where he was going to be, and gets the combo. And I love this. I love this. Listen closely to what she says. Can raise the line just for this, okay? Watashi no Tan! It's my turn! <laughs> it's my turn! She literally fucking says it's my turn. Just now, now it's my turn. Hold on, I'm gonna play. You just sit there and block my shit. Uh, Sion, I love you. She, she's just so cool. <clears throat> Sorry, moving on. Okay, so he tries to go for real damage confirm off of this. Alright, so. <laughs> Knockdown, 2C, two two, uh, the one bullet into damage. Okay. JC in the mix up, which he blocks, which is pretty good. JC, 2A2C, catches him. Okay, so combo, damage. Oh my god. JA on the way down, 2C, 2A. This is good pressure right here. Oh, didn't go into any, like, 226C series right there. 2 c 2C, try to catch the ground movement. They're both playing each other around each other's ranges. San, like I guessed earlier, still has a hard time around this. She's, her, uh, her main, her main, um, neutral is like trying to fish out of Akia in the air and Akia has good options in the air to get around um uh UC San. so this is kind of hard to work around with okay so ooh that was really awkward but he got tagged okay so knock down getting hit getting hit oh drops it it's okay dash 5a JC back dash okay so JC into ooh you could come on to shoot you can that's ridiculous doesn't kill him, goes for the air reset though. Doesn't hit JB. That JB would have been a great normal right there. Let's just replay that real quick. Right here, he was sitting at that range where Sison doesn't have any good normals to hit at that range except JA. And JB, right here from uh, C Safe would have been godlike. Just, just ridiculously good right here because this is the one angle that JB is ridiculously good at. It's okay though. Drops it. Goes, fish for backdash, wasn't there. Gets tagged by the random air flame tone. It's not random, but it's good. Okay. JB, 2A, 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 dash. Oh, God, this pressure. 5A, 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 2A, dash. Clutches mash. Into real confirms. 5C full charge, 6B. Whip. Into bullets. And he's going to do... Okay, this right here is a new ender that, that only, like, 1.05 has. And it gives a lot of meaty. It gives him a lot of shit to work with. Just shields to JC, though. That JC full charge can lead into... Uh, a quick overhead or a quick low, so it's pretty much RPS once it hits. But he just shields the JC. He's like, nope, I know what you're gonna do. Don't wanna deal with it. Yep. Here we go. 2 2 C. I believe that's 2 2 C. I don't really know the input for that. <clears throat> Alright, so JC, 2A, 5B, 2C. Just in the corner using that plus 2 2A pit, I believe. JC, oh my god. He confirmed the JC loop. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> he confirmed the JC loop off a fucking random hit. This is why Ko is so good. I mean, you. Catches the tech out. He drops the combo, but he still gets the tech punish. It's really good. Gets the bullets, gets the meaty. Lands on the other side. Expected a reversal, but reversal came late. Reloads with all that time in neutral. Yeah. See, he used so many bullets from before that he had to reload his bullets. Bullets are pretty important for Sion to use in, uh, in neutral. His strings are kind of weak, I agree. But with all the space he had, and he was like, okay, I have such such long, uh, such a large life lead. I don't have to come to you at all. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm staring at you, just doing whatever you want. Oh, whatever. I'll just reload. Free time for me. Good. Reloads, gets like 13 bullets back. Moving around, trying to move around the pillars, gets tagged. Just j fishing, fishing for random counter hit, gets air grabbed. Oh, God, it's going to hurt. Nope. 
Okay, no real mix up. Tries a 5A, gets go up by JC. 2-2-A, 2-2-A again, I believe. I don't really know these inputs. 2-2-C, into release, into... Oh, goes with a fake overhead. Let me just highlight that real quick. C Seifuku's 5C full charge is an overhead. So what we did right there was half charge 5C, 2A. So five, half charge 5C, 2A leads to about like 3K. It's a good mix up to do off someone that knows that C Seifuku has an overhead. So just 2 c 6C, which is really plus, allows damage. These strings look pretty good to me. <laughs> All right, so time is not on you side. He needs to do something. He needs to do it fast. Use like sitting on almost leaving this bracket. Yeah. Wow, that was pretty random. Let me just go back it again. <clears throat> All right, so dash shield and he just does what is it? <laughs> he does arc drive. <laughs> Sad. Yeah, you lost. There's no way you can come back now. Just impossible. Let's see. Show why Ryogi is hated so much. Uh. Okay. Okay. I'll show you why Ryogi is hated so much. Since you, you asked, I, I think I should just answer you. <clears throat> okay, so we're looking at hitboxes right now, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Let's just open up Melty Blood. Alright. Let's see Ryogi. Yep, <laughs> Zara already knows, F Yogi. All right, I'm not even gonna go into details because if I just if I just went into too much detail, I just like this channel would explode from my rage. I think this character is. <sighs> All right, whatever. <sighs> this is a two A. Okay, this is a two A. You want to see Nani as two A? You want to see Nani as two A? Okay. Nanya's 2A was considered a really good 2A, and it's considered a really obnoxious 2A. You want to see his 2A? Here's his 2A. Do I have to explain? This is a good 2A, but this is F. Ryogi's, okay? This is F. Ryogi's 2A. Not only that, F. Ryogi's is level 2. If you don't know what level 2 means, in console, there's anti-A armor. When two normals trade, and one was an A normal, and one was a B or C normal, the the B or C normal will tr uh, will have armor. It will absorb the hit from the A normal. So not only is this two A five frames and covers the entire fucking screen, it's level two. So you could just hit it. Your character gets up faster than like the speed of light. Okay, your character doesn't have to care about anything. It's so like, <sighs> yeah, it does, but it's. Zara, it's so fast. It's so fast. I've seen it beat my 2A many times. It, it's 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 the uh, it's five frames, but if you combine it with how fast she gets up and the range she could just hit the button at, it's ridiculous. I could be doing a block screen, try to reset. She just hits 2A. I can't I can't do anything about it. She just hits 2A. It's just whatever. It's level two. You can't even like try to get around this doing like some staggered 2A bullshit. <laughs> yeah, 2B. Okay, let's get into 2B. <clears throat> All right. I'm, I'm gonna stop really soon because otherwise it'll just rage forever. But. <sighs> okay. So, 2A is a good move concerning that it's level 2, 5 frames, and it's a 2A. And how fast she gets up. That's a really, really important factor. She gets up really fast. She gets up the fastest in the game. And she gets this. Now, this is her 2A. And 2B. You can't challenge this move. Yeah. Where is the hurt box? You can't challenge this move. You wanna look at 2C? Okay. 2C. To be fair, isn't exactly a practical normal to do, but it, it literally can be beat. Okay, here's the active frames. Where do I hit this move? Oh, sorry, Fox. Someone asked about Ryogi. Let me just <clears throat> go back to actual matches. Okay, so I'm going to do roughly two sets of this match, and then I'm going to cut, cut off this uh, stream session for today. But... <sighs> If you want to know why I hate Ryogi, just whatever. Just yeah, just whatever. Let's just fuck. Okay, so we have Ko. I mean Ko. Fuck. We have Yo F Arc versus Boo Boo F uh, C Nero. <clears throat> okay, so. Boo Boo is a good C Nero and F Arc is a good F Arc. 
I mean, Yo is a good F arc. They both knew their characters really well. And I'm sure if you watched the last uh, session of this, you've seen these matches before. But I just want to go over these two again. Because, um, why did I want to go over these again? Oh, yeah, because Yo does some really good option selects that I think I haven't actually seen other Japanese players do that common, commonly. And he does it often. He does anti he He does, um... There's some other good shit that's just made me surprised. And it's just good sets in general, so I'm just gonna go over it in detail. But, yeah. Alright, so the match starts off. Booba just kind of flying around the screen, does what he wants. Once again, the field control from Nero in this matchup is horrendous for FR to deal with. But he gets a random J. Uh, yeah, okay. So he gets a random 2D6B there, which is counter hit. But the C Nero, like, text forward into his snake that he put out. The thing is, is that. Technically, this would be extremely punishable, and like you'd be able to blow it up at, under most situations or any situation in most cases. But since the snake's there, he's just playing the snake. Oh, the snake's there. I'm just gonna tech into it. If they try to punish me, uh, I'm just gonna do like 3K, which is exactly what happened. 3K into setup. Tries to backdash out. Gets caught by JB. Corner into JB's JBC air throw. Oh, uh, 2C. 2C is a shark? I believe. If you had to ask. I don't really know. Sorry. Okay, so 2, two, uh, two and 4A. Goes for the fuzzy. He was blocking in the air though. 2D6C gets tagged by the uh, 5B. Tries to shield the crows. Alright, so let me just go in detail about these snakes. 2 and 4A is a held snake. It, co it covers the ground space slower than the other one, but you're able to release it whenever you want. I'm pretty sure it goes away when you get hit, though. I believe. 2 and 4B is a snake that just goes through this uh, the ground space of the screen extremely fast, and you don't control it. It just stops whenever it uh, pass like whenever it's underneath you. Um, let's see. In that regard, it's not as good because it doesn't move as slowly, and C Nero is not able to play off the snake as as, as easily. But he doesn't have to hold a button; and it allows him to do other things. He has two versions of the deer, which is four two one, his four two one series, A, B, and C. A is one hit, and if if you block it, you can't really challenge him out of it because he it, the the recovery or blocks none of it will like try to hit you, and you'll get comboed. Um, B deer comes out slower and stays on the screen for a little bit, has two hits, and will follow you around for those two hits. C deer is the best one, costs 100 meter, and it'll follow you around for three hits. And the hits is like when it does a little headbutt thing. Um, his crow series, he has two. He has one that covers a horizontal angle like this. It goes stra straight up and then goes straight down. And he has the horizontal crow, which is one you're going to see a lot more often. Um, 2G6A. It's for just covering ground space in general, helping him put his other stuff on the screen. Uh, that's all for specials, pretty much. <clears throat> Alright, so JB, JB, 5B, 2C full charge into the A deer, as I just spoke of. You normally can't challenge that deer, like I said before, because the block stun or hit stun would just ta tag you out of it, but you can shield it. If you shield it, you just put the fire out and just blow it up. Alright, so... 5B, J oh, 5A, 2C. Okay, so 5A, 2C from C Nero. Oops. Whatever. Okay, so 5A, 2C from C Nero is probably one of the best guard breaks that he could ever do. 5A, 2C, counter hit, non counter hit, whatever, just links into itself and it gives good combos. So he got like 3K for that, I'm pretty sure. I don't even have to look. Tries to shoot again, just gets caught by 4C. Okay, so that was a good smooth, smart move by, um, by Yo right there. He was going for air reset. He had one air dash still because he he didn't waste any air movement when he got comboed. So what he does is that he air techs and just forward dashes J2C and he just gets out. J2C carries your momentum. And since C Nero doesn't exactly have um C Nero doesn't exactly have like good ground movement to try to follow F arc, if you just do this and land on the other side of the screen, you don't have to deal with his game. And C Nero, when he does that air tech reset like on the side of the screen, he's really looking for you to stay around this area. So if you have a way to get out of it, that's really good. Because that air tech reset in that situation is scary because C Nero has one like definitely the best guard breaks in the game. You can't jump in on this character. It's really, really risky. <clears throat> 
All right, so you just air dash forward, J2C, stand, land on the other side. You know what? I don't have to deal with any of your bullshit over here, Nero. I'm on this side. This side belongs to me now. I don't have to deal with it. So Nero's trying to claim this side of the screen now, a 2 and 4B and the crow. He blocks both. Deer is still on the other side. 4C. 4C is uh, pretty... The yellow lines. <laughs> what are you talking about yellow lines are? Whatever. <clears throat> So, okay, let me go back to that. Sorry. Okay, so J2C, trying to clear them space. He does the crow to lock him down in, uh, lock him down in that spot. The, the snake comes up from behind, locks him down in the spot even more, because it's air unblockable, you can't try to jump out. JC, trying to lock him here. This space right here, oh, the Madden lines are. Uh, I was busy with school this week, so I haven't been able to set that stuff up. I'm sorry. But this space right here that Nero's just hitting at is a space where he kind of gets to do whatever he wants. 5B, air unblockable, covers this, this vertical space. You get JC again, covers this space. Put out summons, just sit at this range. And FARC can't really do, any, do anything about it. If he tries to jump out, Nero will just be able to challenge him with JC or an air unblockable normal. If he tries to just dash at him, he's just going to hit him. So, uh, Yo in this situation, since he's a really smart player, he's probably just going to straight up block. And he tries to dash at him, but he, once he realizes that he puts a crow out, he just blocks. And what Boo Boo does, he tries to combo off the the crow or just like try to tag some sort of move, forward movement with 4C. The thing about uh, C narrow 4C is that while it's 10 frames and the hitbox is godlike, it covers this huge range in front of him. On whiff or on block, it's pretty punishable. So you could just move in and try to hit him. So if you see C narrow flying around hitting 4C, like it's NBA C or some bullshit, just dash at him, hit him, just do whatever you want. Boo Boo realizes that he used 4C and that he whiffed it, and he's like, oop, I don't want to be in this bad situation right now. I'm going to bat dash. Give Yo his room in the corner and just, you know, claim this defensive space to my own. Yo tries to claim him that and tries to jump above him, and uh, he, JC's on the way down. He tr probably tried to guard break him in 5A2C, but he just got 2A, which got countered by JC, and that's really scary damage to be hit with. Him. You can't punish 4C, but it's still something you can dash in on. <clears throat> All right. So 4C, 5B, 2A. All right, so 2C. Okay, that was godlike. <clears throat> Let me go over that again real quick, because that was a really good exchange. <clears throat> All right, so he gets tagged by the JC. He does uh, the the <laughs> amazing FR comma that only Yo can do. Yo, so godlike. Anyway, the instant he's the last bit, because he sees that he's in max now, and that he can regain all his red life, because he's an F-Moon. F-Moon, he doesn't stop the clock. It's a great comeback factor. Since it doesn't stop the clock, you just gain that life straight back if you're in max. And the other opponent's, like, forced to sit at their life gain. So, he d he got he went into instant heat, gained that red life, saw the time was at 13 seconds, knew that the game was gonna, I mean, the round was gonna end soon. Went into instant heat, tried to continue the combo, which you can do. Dash 2C, he did it too fast, but it's still very possible, trust me. That combo would have lasted about five more seconds if he landed that. So he was planning to waste time and gain the life back to win the match. He went from losing to now being in, in control of this match. So he drops the combo, walks forward, 2A, 2A, 2A. Just, he's sitting at a range where he wants, because Nero with this red life could still win the match. He has the, uh, the certain, like, yeah, take more life. He has the red life that can make him win, because C, C, uh, C, C Moon in general... When they get into heat, they gain they gain their red life back slowly. The timer stops, so the time would stop. He would gain his red life, and he would get the chance to land one random hit on F arc. So F arc's really trying to stay close to him and lock him into the corner, stay in a range where he can't really try to heat out or try to poke out. Try not to get hit, but still forcing a, a range where if he if he just randomly hit heats, he would just hit him. So he's sitting right at that range. So he's just like, okay, yeah, you four seed, I'm gonna dash in at you in JC. You're gonna try to block this. Oh, but at this point, Boo Boo's like really desperate. Five seconds are on the clock, he has no life. He, like, at this point, that 2A on JC was probably one of the worst decisions ever. But it's five seconds left. You have to make something happen. Don't be afraid to make these decisions when there's no timer, when there's no time to make them. Okay, so he does 2A, 2A, doesn't, isn't able to link off of it, goes into Snake. Yo just two C's, watch his backdash just the end. That backdash was key. Because if he woke up with heat at that situation, he definitely would have been able to make the match come around. That time that, that 251 meter is like four seconds or something worth of uh, time freeze. C Moon uh, stops stops the timer and allows that red light to come back. Activate, yes. So what he did with that backdash right there is delayed. 
delayed uh, backdash. He didn't activate, so he he wasn't he was safe. And he didn't uh, if he activate afterwards, uh, the Nero the Nero would have still still straight up lost. So Joe was smart, Boo Boo was smart, didn't activate, just decided to take the loss. There's some times when you're playing someone smart, you just gotta realize, hey, you know what? Instead of trying to come back in this really bad situation, um, I'll just save this 250 50 meter for next round. 250 meter is a really really good meter uh, meter. What's the number? Good meter number to sit at at C Moon. So at C Moon, he's 250 meter. He could have heated there. Extremely risky. He could have lost all his meter start of the next round, zero meter, which is something you don't want to do. And he, well, it was risky, so he didn't do it. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> He realized that he got checkmated by Yo, like Zar said, and that just happens. Sometimes you just gotta accept the loss. Okay, so he did JC, tags Arc's forward movement, puts out the deer, playing the deer and this vertical space. Had Arc tried to jump forward and just jump in general, he wouldn't tied by this JC. So, at, immediately, actually, Zar, I, uh, whatever, okay. <clears throat> JC, deer, just locking down in the corner. Crow to tag any, like, standing or just jump movement. But he didn't move at all. So he puts down a snake. No, never mind. He didn't put on a snake. He just put on a throw. Tags him into moving forward. And he can't move. Going for the air reset, I believe? No. Okay. Yeah, okay. So this range right here, 2 d 6 c Technically, you could try to jump out. Since the the air throw is kind of far from the corner. In general, though, where are you going to go? If you jump out, you can't dash on arrow. It's almost impossible in this situation. You can't jump out either. Because if you jump out, where are you going to go? In the corner, land into 5B. Are you going to jump away from the corner? Just get be greeted by Nero JC? This is Nero's game when he locks you down in the corner. He does what he wants when he gets you in the corner. And you just have to deal with it. It's kind of annoying to deal with. I personally agree with. But nah, dash 5B would still get caught by 2A. So at this situation, you just got to block. Which is what Yo does. Sucks. Oh well. Okay, he gets the new combo in 1.05, which is really good. Into 421C into setup. Okay, so 2A, 2A, 2A. You set up the snake and the deer. You can't jump out. You can't jump out of this. He would just 5B you. So you just, you can't jump out and you can't dash at him. What are you gonna do? Block. That's your only option. Alright, so sitting out of range where you still can't really jump. You see, even though he jumped out right there, let's go back again. <clears throat> okay, so. He, a deer came out and he blocked. Had he jumped again, JC was waiting for him. Look at that JC. It's just literally just at that perfect spot. You can't move. Nero locked down in the corner is so good, especially if you're F arc. Okay, so that JC was kind of badly placed, but the thought behind it was really scary. So Yo realizes that JC wasn't exactly the best placement. Air Dash didn't try to JC and tag him. Still missed him, but it's good play. Alright, so Rising JA trades to JB. Huh, this doesn't happen in console often. B fire tags at B, uh, B deer. See, that was kind of risky because if that was A deer, the arc would be getting comboed right now. But since B deer takes long to come out and has two hits, it's okay. So, combo just jumping around him with the snake and deer, just playing all his things. A deer called it right the second time. I don't know how Yo is always right about these things. He knew it was B deer before, he knew it was A deer second time. Just, he's godlike, I don't know what to say. Okay, so 4C again, backdashes. Gets around that 4B. Like I said, it's pretty bad, so. Ark realizes that he backdashes, and he's putting down a snake. JC's in. Oh, god damage. This gonna do so much. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god. Stop, Yo, he wants to play. Uh, JC tags what probably was a jump out. God, give damage. Oh, burst out. That was a kind of bad spot to burst, in my opinion. You should have just bursted straight in, uh, straight out from the beginning. Or you should have just heated. But he's probably confident in his ability to try to control the space afterwards and gain that 100 meter. Because he's still at a disadvantage. But if he gains 100 meter, which isn't that hard for Nero to do in general, he'll be able to gain this lead life back and stop the timer. Yo's, Yo's sitting on uh, max, though, and he has this much red life and 30 seconds on the clock, though. So if he, if he feels like he's... Um, not safe and in, in like danger of losing the match. He's just gonna instant heat and <laughs> get a life back. <clears throat> Run it back. Okay. All right. So you see this? That was like 2.6k. I guess he wanted to avoid taking 5k, but still in general, I would have taken the damage. Yeah, he like took 3.5k before he burst it out. 
took most of the damage from the combo already, and then it gets JC. Yeah, you could have done a lot more if you saved that meter, but it wasn't exactly a terrible decision, but there were just better ones to make. Alright, so Boo was just flying around, trying to put down snakes. Puts on a snake again, just uh, puts JC out. That JC out earlier, <clears throat> let me just replay that real quick, sorry. Alright, I, I definitely need the Madden arrows. Okay, so he put down the A snake, jumps back. Uh, jump the jump back was uh, defensive because if if Yo jumped at him when he put down the snake, it would have been bad. So what happened is that he just jumped back just in case defensive JC, but he, Yo didn't jump, so he's okay. So he just air dashes once he realizes that. And now look at this space. If Art saw, well, okay, there's this there's a snake right underneath me. I'll just jump out. Whatever. Neo can't cover this space. He jumped back. He would have been greeted by this nice and lovely JC, which would have been really ass. So, once again, Nero is covering both of these angles. And where are you going to go, Ark? Oh yeah, in the corner. Exactly where Nero wants you. This matchup's so ass. <laughs> Alright, so, tries to jump out of the snake, gets caught. But it wasn't a counter hit, so he's still pretty safe. Still in the corner, Nero putting that 214A JC bullshit again on the screen. 214A is gonna cast a jump out, tries to do it. JB on the way down. Oh my god, that was so good. Okay, let me let me recall that for people who don't know what just happened. Okay, so you know, ground space, ground control. Walk forward 5B. That was so legit. The reason why is because when Nero usually walks forward to you like that in that situation, most players are like, oh shit, he's gonna throw me. I better throw tech, which is. Uh, I'm gonna say in the chat one plus a plus D <laughs> All right, and what the throw tech does is that it's a low shield if, if, if they throw you you do it late if they throw you um, You throw tech you just you know, you don't get thrown if if they don't throw you low shield comes out and The point the entire key of the throw tech is that you do it as late as possible So you still stuck in box then yo might have done the throw tech really late he didn't get caught. But either way, Boo Boo was looking for one thing. He was looking for one thing, 5B. 5B blows up low shield. So since 1 plus AD gives a low shield throw tech, if you walk forward like that and then hit 5B, it's such a blow up. It, they, they take like 5K. It's just so much damage. So he was looking for that. And if you know that the uh, other player is willing to like blow up your crouch tech if you do it a lot, sometimes the better option is to just take the throw. You take the throw, you take like 1.5k. Those aren't that scary in Melt of Blood. But if you, if they're trying to blow up your throw tech, you're taking like 4k? 4k into setup? So, 5b is only 5 frames? Wow. That's really good. But anyway, so 5b, just blow it up. So right there, a lot of players wouldn't realize that was a, that was a, that was an attempt to blow up house tech. Alright, so let's just replay it again. Yeah, I would have thrown tech right there. I was like, oh shit, he's gonna try to throw me, and I would have gotten blown the fuck up. Good thing Yo's really smart. Doesn't eat that. Gets put into a tight situation with this corner game again. Does it again! Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on, let's just replay this real quick. So there's the first crash tech blow up. 2B, pro. 2A, walk forward again, 5B. Stop it! Stop it! You're not allowed to be this mean. You're not allowed to be this mean. Oh my god. The numbers next to you move in input display is how long you held the move. How many frames you've been holding it. Oh my god. Okay, so Yo finally works his way out of the corner. Just it, uh, jumps out. Uh, Nero finally didn't cover it. He tries a 5A, but the thing is, is that he air dashed J2C. If he didn't, have, if he didn't air dash J2C, he would have fallen into 5A. But luckily for him, he gets air dash J2C. If he didn't have that, this matchup would be completely terrible. Um... So Air, Air Dash J2C covered the other side. Nero is gonna have to play all of his summons out. This gives Nero to put out uh, time to put out summons to try to claim back the space, but it gives FR breathing room, which is what she wants. She can deal with the summons. All right. So gets caught by JB. Ugh. God damage. This is a really good confirm from Nero. Okay. So walk forward to B. Held crow. Okay. That's one crow I didn't I didn't uh, cover. Held crow. It stays on the screen as long as he doesn't get hit. It's okay if he blocks, and it only lets go when he holds. Uh, let goes. Of, lets go of it. So the crows got put down. Let's just replay it real quick. Okay, so combo, combo, two B, held crow. Now this held crow 
goes up in the corner again, and he's gonna catch him. Yep, or not. Wow, the pro did not hit him. But it goes under that damage just like that. Counter hit, four siege, try to cast with tech. No tech was there though. Just putting down summons, claiming all this ground space and airspace. Just look at him playing this. Oh my god, this deer. Crows. Jumps JB trying to cover that space at the vertical space. What uh, he didn't he didn't try to challenge it though, so he's okay. Two and four A, two A, two A, two A. Walk five B again. Fuck. Stop doing that. <laughs> so good. JP, two and four A. I mean four two one A from the deer. Puts on A snake. Two C's tried to guard bait, but Yo jumped back. Doesn't want to eat it. Yo is just being really patient, trying to land his one hit. Nero gets up really slow and has bad pokes. But his his uh his neutral and offensive game are so good. So he finally lands that random counter hit, confirms the real damage. Here we go, real damage. Yep. Oh my god. He's probably gonna instant heat too, because there's 15 seconds left on the clock, and look at all this meter. Look at all this meter that he could gain. So he's in max, all this meter, Nero saying at this red life, so he just wants to instant heat, getting this life back, realizes the time, just try to lame lame Nero out. So right there. Let me slow that down for you. Okay, I'm sure Zar knew exactly what that was. I'm sure Zar knows what that was. Okay, so counter hit. Alright. So one of Nero's best options, one of Nero's best options in this situation right here is to heat. Zar, I mean, <laughs> Zar, whoops. Yo was in a spot where he was going to isn't heat. Locked Nero down in the corner, which somewhere somewhere Nero doesn't want to be at all. And he had this red life right here. Let me just, yeah, this red life right here that he could gain back. 14 seconds on the clock, 200 meter. So if if Nero woke up with heat in the situation, he'd be able to blow arc. Uh, yes? Okay. He'd be able to blow arc all the way to the other side of the screen. Gain gain all that life back. Be able to control that screen. Get get like Give himself the breathing room that he wants. But, because he's finally in a bad spot. Yo realizes this, this though. Uh, Nero's best way out of the situation is wake up heat. So what he does is the OS to it. Guys. So what he does is the OS. 2A, 2A, 5 plus BD. Now this OS is godlike. It stops heat. Because what happens if one of the 2A is whiff, shield comes out. If the 2A is don't whiff, 5B comes out. So, it stops heat. Thing is, is that it's be able to blown up by dodge and sh uh, dodge or anything that makes your hitbox not there. So since he did forward dash, shield came out anyway. But he's still in a bad spot. He's not able to do much after forward dash. But since he did two A two A five B D, he was looking for heat, which is really good. I haven't seen Japan run many option selects surprisingly, and this is one of the most godlike ones. So I got really hyped when I saw this. <laughs> Yeah, so you saw the 5A, 5D, 2A, 5D. Had had Nero woken up with shield, blown up, blown up. You would have been like, you would have been like losing this much life. He would have gained all that red life back with the combo. It just wouldn't be something pretty to look at. But that that's not what happened. So it's all good. Okay, so spacing in general, that was really godlike. 2 2A is probably one of the most special, hardest specials for FR to instant heat. Mainly because it's just so fast. But he instant heated 2 2 A. I guess he didn't want to get caught in the startup with 2 3 6 A. Either way, Nero's going to push it down on the screen right now. And Nero's goal is to try to safely heat right now. Because he has this red life and be able to stop the timer. This timer is not a timer that Nero wants to be sitting at with this life lead. So he wants to, he wants to heat. He wants to freeze the timer. <laughs> he wants to gain this red life back. And he wants to hit arc and just make the life difference just way better thing is is that yo knows this so yo is going to be sitting at uh nero at a certain range where like if nero ever heat he's just going to jump and pounce him but if he's going to be sitting at like a safe range because heats aren't that safe and neutral so just just watch watch yo and watch watch the way he moves so like even after four c is just dashing in go ahead he i dare you come on i blow you up fire okay this is the safest way for him to heat Oops, that's way too far back. Let me just. <clears throat> He's not going to arch ar drive. He would arch drive that he if it if it was there, but it's not there. Okay, so timer's running down. He realizes that he put down the fire. He's gonna have to get around these crows. 
So he puts down the crows, EX crows, which claims all this ground space, and since Ark just used red fire, he can't dash at him. So he only has one option, jump away, or try to jump around it, which is exactly what Nero has been waiting for this whole like uh, time, pe- time span of like 10 seconds. So he finally gets his heat. Boom, there it is. Yes, I finally get to come back. Now you're in a bad spot where I get to gain this red life back, grab the life lead, and try to randomly hit you. So once again, just doing a really safe JC snake, locking down the corner, JC counter hit. Got the counter hit, he won the match. They both realized that just playing safe. So Bibu played really smart. <laughs> Sorry, it's calling him a faggot. That's really smart play, Zara. Okay, so 2 and 4A, JB, 2B. Oh god, B fire attacks the range. Oh, what are you doing, teching? The snake came out too early for that. Okay, so JB, who went for the uh, fuzzy there, but he crouch blocked the uh, first JB. Alright, so two snakes. Oh my god, that's an overhead. You're caught. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Oh, new combos! 4K plus setup. Didn't waste the meter, doesn't wanna waste it. 2A, 2A, 2B. Oh, snake. Okay, so it's just sending 5A plus 3. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, so. 4C is a really fast normal, and it's kind of okay to mash at that space. Thing is, is that if you do it too much, uh, because 4C comes out in 10 frames, it catches dash in something. But he did 63A, which has like a 4 frame startup, so it doesn't work around it. He does this godlike OGG combo, which only works on fat characters. So this OGG combo is like the most godlike combo ever. Here we go. Oh my god. Stop it, yo. Stop. <laughs> Baits the heat. There it is. Wins the match. Or not. Wow. Damn, that should have killed him. Alright, 2 to 6 a Random teleport probably wasn't that. And the anti-air claw to take the match. Alright, so that was a really good match. Five minutes. All high-level play right there. So good. I'm not going to do another one. It's 520. I've done this for about two hours, I believe. So I'm just going to cut it off here. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have the Madden Ya things to do, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the second episode. Uh, if you have any feedback, once again, just post it in the thread. Say whatever you want. Say whatever you didn't like. Say what you liked. Say what you think I should do next time. Put requests for characters, um, like characters you want to see, concepts, etc. Sorry this uh, episode was so rushed, but I've been busy with school, etc. lately. So I'm trying to cater this more to you guys. So I'll be able to cater it easily if you tell me what you want. So please post in the thread after this and just tell me tell me what you like. <laughs> Review the matches I show. I did. Whatever, just post in the threads are. Not right here. Alright, so I'll see you guys later. And I hope to see your feedback in the thread. Thank you. Goodbye.